Good morning, guys. Um, it is, I don't know, the 6th or the 7th. I don't know. It's almost 7.30 in the morning. And the only reason, and I'm going to be real with you for a second without being too personal because I don't feel like sharing every single thing that's happening right now in my life. I'm going to continue to do this as long as I can, this 25 days, because it gives me a sense of normalcy. And it makes me feel a little bit better to make these memories and to have them on YouTube forever. And so I'm going to try to continue doing them until I finish. And uh, if I can, you know, I don't know if things are going to get worse or whatever. But a lot of things have gone on involving my family. We're hoping and praying and whatever. There's a couple of things that aren't happening that we think are. I shouldn't be going to work today. If I'm being real, I don't think that I am mentally capable of working. I don't think that my job would understand that logic. So I'm just going to go in anyway and try to do it. I'm not in a great place and I just wanted to try to vlog and be normal for a day just to see if I can to try to keep my spirits up because we don't know yet. You know, all of this is like up in the air still. So bear with me. I'm not trying to get sympathy or anything. I don't want crazy stuff. I just want to feel, I don't like feeling right, you know, like I don't like, oh, well, you should have listened. I don't like feeling like that. And uh, I do. I feel that right now. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just show you what I'm reading today if I feel like reading, which I think I will. I have Walter Coy, Volume 1, which I think this has like the original Volume 1 and 2 in it. And this is written by Fujita Wotokoi, Love is Hard for Otaku. And I'll read you the back of it. Just, It's really cute, by the way. I haven't read or watched this yet, but the characters on the front are adorable. Games over romance. Narumi Mamose has had it rough. Every boyfriend she's had dumped her once. They found out she was an otaku. So she's gone to great lengths to hide it. When a chance meeting at her new job with childhood friend, fellow otaku, and now co-worker Hirotaka Nifuji almost gets her secret out at work. She comes up with a plan to make sure he never speaks up. But he comes up with a counter-proposal. Why doesn't she just date him instead? In love, there are no save points. So it looks like on the back that she reads like manga and Fujoshi stuff. And then he is a gamer. He's playing like a Switch or a PS Vita or something. And this is rated 16 plus Kodansha, originally priced $17.99. I did get it full price. This is one of the few, you know, I don't buy a ton of my manga brand new, but this is a new series that I've heard a lot of hype about and there was a sale going on, so I got it. It was still pretty high, but considering it's two volumes inside one, I thought, you know, why not? I'll support it. And um, I hope it's good. I've heard a lot of good things and I just need a pick-me-up, honestly. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day so far. I will see you when I see you. Bye. You know, I feel so bad because I just don't want to go into work today. I'm just not feeling it. I don't feel great. I emotionally don't feel great. And I'm just tired and I'm not in the mood. And I feel like I'm going to be mean. And I don't want to be mean. And I'm going to try to be in a good mood, but we'll see. Um, I don't know. I guess I just wanted to vent that for a second. spaghetti and it is ready to consume you can't really see anything the right color because for some reason it's really brown looks like there's no sauce but there is I promise I read the first volume of Wotakoi that's in this two volume uh, book and I love the hell 
out of it. It's so, so good. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's, it's sweet and a little bit sexy, but not like, not anything too adult yet. But I love these characters so much. I don't, I guess I really like this guy the most. I can't even remember their names. I'm bad. But he's sleepy looking and I just identify with that and I just really like him. He's really cute and kind of shy. And then we have a rain girl who is, she's okay I guess. You know, she's just a girl. She's nerdy. But, and then we have the big booby best friend who I really like. Might have a crush on her too. And then we have her boyfriend who I really, really like too. He's more of like the angry, like dominant kind of type, you know, that character. And are you doing funny zooms? No. Mm. You don't know anything. I don't know how you film. Yeah. But I wanted to um, talk about it for just a second. Like, I don't want to spoil too much because this is very different from a normal manga, I feel like. I think it would be, be better as an anime because of how it's episodic. It's like, you know, in a normal manga, you have like a storyline that you're following of a character or whatever. And in this one, it's just these people and we're seeing little snippets of their life of them being nerdy otaku gamers and dating kind of and then going out to bars and stuff and uh it's cute i love it but i do really want to see the anime and i think it's on amazon prime so we'll have to do that uh, you'll have to watch it with me because it's hilarious and there's actual references to real anime and real manga and real games and stuff like that instead of just like fake names so i'm interested in how they did that because not a lot of anime do that. They, I guess they have copyright issues or something. But it was so cute and charming. I wasn't, I was so sure I wasn't going to like it as much as everyone says that I would. So, um, I'm very happy about that. It's precious. And I'm going to probably read part two tomorrow. And I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm going to give that five stars so far. So. What do you think? What are you thinking about? Anything? Head empty. <laughs> Only no floof and leaky eye. Um, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Wait, let me see that nose. No. Let me see that nose and them lips. Oh yes, that's the good. <laughs> that's the good stuff right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, I want to see that. I want to see that nose. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Now let's see them beans, boy. Oh. You're torturing the baby. Look at those. Wait, wait. Look at those beans. Oh. Hear <laughs> me. You keeping them beans a secret? You're just torturing our son. He's going to come over here on top of me. Yeah. <laughs> like, unless he has Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> I wouldn't call that torture. Um, but I guess this is going to be the end of the vlog because I'm getting tired and I don't feel like doing a bunch of crazy stuff. No more drone footage? No, not uh, for today. We didn't okay. go anywhere. <laughs> we can do it inside. No. It's built to... I have little cages that can go on the wings. No. <laughs> no. It's built to go to be inside. No. <laughs> uh, no. No, okay. Um, but uh, now we're watching YouTube, and I'm going to go edit the video. And um, How many videos do you have other than this one? Only a few. Yeah, it's going to be a short one. It might not be very long today. Let's take a look into Hermie's ear. <gasps> Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave me a comment on what you're reading and what you're doing. And um, I'll see you for day 8. I think tomorrow's the 8th. Yes, tomorrow's the 8th. Okay, bye guys. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? Yeah, you hear you hear them, them bees. Kitty ASR. Kitty bees. And then the presents. Presents! I want to give you your presents. Oh. Let me give you. Let me love you with presents. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>